Hello and welcome back to another episode of Farming Life at La Forge. For those of you who are new here, my name is Laura and this channel is all about our farming lives here in France. In today's episode, I will be going through some of Dad's gadgets. So these are just simple ideas that um, he came up with or he made to help us around the farm. Um, whether it's just to keep things tidy, ways of having things handy, um, just to make life easier. So I will be showing you that. Also, if you haven't already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell notification so that you don't miss out on any future episodes. But just before we get to Dad's gadgets, I'm going to be showing you the Emily Bucket. So Dad is coming down now. So we use the Emily Bucket, I've showed it in last videos. Um, it's something that we use for feeding. And now that we've opened our maize pit, so this is the maize that you saw us harvest. And we're going to show you exactly how the roller on the Emily Bucket works and how we are using it now for feeding our cattle in the winter. Uh, this is the Emily Bucket Laura was showing you before. Cuts down the pit, good and solid. Uh, normally we shovel up for half when we're finished. Uh, we try to just take about that much at a time because if you take too much and don't go across the pit it'll start heating. Now normally uh, in another month or two when it gets a bit colder it's, it's okay. Uh, <coughs> that's just a feed and order. You can move it left or right. Then these spin around as well to help mixing up to mix up the stuff. So we normally fill it three quarters full with maize and then we drive under the auger and we put in uh, rolled, rolled wheat and a soya mix and uh, then we just feed it to the cat. So uh, I, we'll show it here now, uh, cutting down the pit and then we'll fill up the meal. This was, uh, we made this up ourselves. We have all the augers wired in, so there are two big silo silos full of uh, wheat. Before we used to have wheat and barley, but now we don't sow barley. I'll tell you why again. And that's our uh, soya. We get it pumped in, it holds three ton. And um, so then we just augered in here. We, d we used to stop the meal down there but this time of the year till uh, we just let it into the Emily bucket we found we draw rats uh, if you have too much meal laying around and that's it Um, so it's not one of Dad's gadgets, it's just something that we showed in one of our last videos and I thought it'd be interesting to see exactly how we use it on the maze pit now that um, we've opened our maze pit up so that you can see the roller and see it fully in use. 
So we always use this on the Manitou. Um, Manitou is one of the machines that we use quite a lot. We have just recently updated the Manitou with lights. So first thing we've added on is a bar LED light there at the top. We also have this rack on here for holding buckets when going out and feeding in the fields. Just because the cab is on the side, um, there's not a lot of room. It is quite a small cab, so even if we need net off bales or twines or anything that needs to be held in there, Dad has added on to the back of the Emily bucket. It's just something for holding on our, um, just something for holding on the shovels because that wasn't on it. The sides then here in front as well, we have another two LED lights added on because this here is one of the bad blind spots of the machine. So then here on the back of the machine, we have a bar LED light as well, as well as two top LED lights on the back. So we use the Manitou quite a lot and having them extra lights on them is just handy. And now we're going to show you more of the lights that we use around the farm that Dad has been adding on and setting up. Uh, we put on these two LED lights last year on the mirrors, the reed side of the loader. Uh, I find dim lights up there on the bonnet or on the cab just shine down on the bonnet and reflect off it. They actually blind you more so than these are on the side. They work better with one each side. If you adjust the mirrors, you can do them as well. Some people do put them on the loader, but then when you take off the loader, you have no light. So we've got this other light here in this year. Uh, we have them ones, they're okay on the side. So we've got this light, it's a magnetic. Lovely switch and all on the other side of it. Mainly for picking up the hitch. You can't see. With the, when the window is open, they block it out. Uh, we got them on uh, Amazon. <coughs> so, it came with a switch and all. Uh, not big to wire it up, so you can just leave it in there then when you're finished. I used to find picking up the trailer at night, there was a shadow, and you just couldn't see what you were at. So, that's it. We also, last year, Put four LED lights on the back of this. The same, when you open the window, before, you used to block. You couldn't see with them lights, plus they're gone dull. So we prefer putting them on the side, uh, so you can see what you're at. I had a working light here, so I don't, on this one, so I don't need a magnetic light. So here is the 8340. On this one, we also have added lights. So these are telescopic lights. So they go in and out. We also have the position lights that you can see where they are. Um, so this is handy for when you have something wider on the back that the lights aren't shining again off the trailer. And they're very easy just to slide in and out. We bought this light before we bought these magnetic ones. We bought three of these as I was showing you on the TL. Uh, Laura can tell you the price of them again. They weren't there. I think the three of them were 23 euro. But before we got these, <coughs> we were looking for a search, a light, a work light. So we ordered this. And when it came, it was very big, too big. We were going to send it back, but it works well on the two Jeeps or the tractors. It's remote control, it's, it's a search light, great light off it. So we said we'd keep it as well. Not going, it was 63 euro. And it'll stick on the bonnet. Uh, of the Jeep and plugging in the cigarette later, there's a switch and all on it. Uh, remote control, you can zoom around if you're looking for a cow. <laughs> so we said we'd keep it. And then we bought this uh, when we're moving the combine on the road. It's a magnet LED uh, beacon light. There's a whole different range of uh, flashing units on it. That was 22 euro. Just, we do a good bit of road work, so... Uh, they're always a convoy of a, going with the cattle or whatever, so it's better to be safe. Uh, this came with this light. My Land Rover is aluminium, so this, if you want to put it on the Land Rover, you have to have this on it because that'll only stick to metal. So the Land Rover is aluminium, so that has to be fitted onto the aluminium. So today, today then we're uh, fitting, all these uh, LED yard lights, they um, they come on when it gets dark and they go off when it gets light. They're real low wattage, 
and they don't use up much electricity. So I'll have them for the winter that they plug in now and they'll come on, they'll be on every time I go over to the other farm or there's a few blind spots around this farm. Got these as well on uh, Amazon and we're going to hopefully stick these up today now because winter is coming in and the nights are getting longer. So as well as that then for the other farm, we don't be over there, we don't have a problem with theft. We've got uh, five security cameras and we're going to link into this machine and we're going to put them up so uh, the, the insurance company says an isolated farm you have to be shown that you're doing something to secure the place we're here 14 years we never had an issue with Hampton but it's better to be safe than sorry and then another thing especially for example with dad doing the lights on the security cameras on the other farm we have this platform. This platform is mainly for when you're working up high anywhere. So it just uh, it fits on the forks of the manager. So it can come in this side. It can also come in the other side over there or say this side. It is something that's great for when you're doing lights in the shed or doing anything really. And um, so just go around and show you. So first of all, we have these safety chains. So safety chains, this one on the back is always on. Um, then you can put them across each side here. They just hook on around all four sides especially if there's two people working on the platform at the same time and you have more chance and risk of accidents or if there's someone driving the manor to while you're up on it um when dad or myself are alone using it we just drive the manor to park it up on a height um put on the handbrake and then we have the and then we have a ladder there alongside this ladder is always on this one um so then we can use this ladder to just get up and down off the platform. Then we have everything that we need. These are all the tools that just stay here on the platform. We don't take them off. We don't use them for anything else. So there's the grinder. Um, we have a vise on this here on the side. Um, so there's the welder, the plasma. Um, there is a generator as well, um, just so that you don't have to be going along with gas a magnetic drill here which um, dad uses this probably the most so this is handy for if you need to be doing anything where you don't want to have sparks so if you're up high um near straw or hay or anything that is handy there we have his milwaukee drill there as well um yeah and then he just has a little box here with more tools in it and just stuff that you need um a bit more often up here um, for holding the level as well so that doesn't get knocked about and break uh, so just anything we need then we can put on the top put in there strap it on somewhere and then it's mainly just um, better for safety and a lot handier and comfortable working we also have the roller wire here so you can just wherever you park it up then roll your plug to the nearest socket and then that is handy for electricity um, if you're anywhere that's near electricity so another good thing, um, rather than using a ladder for something that might be a simple job is um, if you need to have two people as well, you can have two people up here. If you need someone to hold up something while you're working on it, um, you can have that. And you can have someone, if you're doing something where you need to move along, say for example, you're doing the lights on a shed, we use this. Um, so I was driving it along while dad was putting the lights up on the shed. Um, instead of him having to get down and move it every time, it is just handy to have them two people at it and you're not getting up and down all the time so there's less risks of accident less risks of accident and yeah it's just something that's really handy we have everything we need on it and basically that is it for the platform okay this is i made this it's not new no invention around i have to split two of the tractors the tl and the 8340 so i made this uh, trolley to split them, split them up over in these farms of the world of scrap left around so they had these uh jacks so i hope to fit timber in that and timber there so then when i split the tractor uh it'll just pull apart Not hopefully no bother and um, it'll be jacked up and safe a trolley jack is okay but it loses direction and kind of add on my own here so, uh, well, I do with uh, Emily and Laura, but uh, it's a lot handier and safer that way. So here is our um, box that we use for storing our plastic. So the leftover plastic 
Silage wrap. Um, so first you put in the twine. So these are twines off the square bales. So the twines go in around the edges, as you can see in there. They go down under, so you put them in first, um, bring them out through the holes, and then they have little hooks on them there to stop them getting caught in. Then when you're putting in plastic, we have it on a wench. So this is an old wench that we got up in the loft um, that the previous owner had for moving around bales up in one of the lofts. So you just press the button. It lifts the big block of concrete up, which is our weight. You can just let the plastic back out again. Make sure the tension's off the chain and then that will compact down all the plastic. Then when the bed is ready, we'll show you this in future episodes. Um, so it just needs to finish compacting now. We can then lift the whole thing up. So untie these, lift the whole thing up and then we can uh, just tie them in there and make a bale and then they're handy for just keeping the bales and plastic nice and tidy until next spring when the co-op comes up to take them away. So we have, that has made a second one over there. Um, so when you made that then, it was around the time that we were painting the trailer. So we just had a bit of extra paint and we just decided to give them a quick spray as well. This one here is a bit different. So it's for the second farm. We can move it about this out. So that will show you now. So the way this works is with the loader of the tractor. one that's how that lifts up instead of using the winch this will be for the second frame like we said again it has the holes on the side and the um just for hooking on the the twine you have got the safety pins there and then you can lift the whole thing up again and do the exact same bales as the last one so we might show you this working on the second frame and we can just move this about wherever it needs to be so that's that for this week's episode i hope you guys enjoyed it um there are still a lot more inventions we didn't realize that we would take so much time to get through them all so there will be a second episode on this um very soon whether it's the next one or one of those after not too sure yet and don't forget you can check out my etsy shop in the link below in the description just for any wooden gifts you might want this year anything can be made to order personalized um whatever tractor you want and you can also follow us daily on Facebook and Instagram. So I will leave the links to them two social accounts down in the description as well. And thank you for watching. Thank you to everybody who has subscribed. Um, I can't believe how fast the channel is going. Thank you again for everybody who's leaving comments and liking the video. Um, so hopefully I'll see you in the next one.